A gigantic fissure is growing under Turkey. Deep below the surface of Asia Minor, something is hidden that will change the region forever. What consequences this could have and how this underground drama shapes the landscape of Turkey, you'll find out in this video, so buckle up, it's going to be tectonic. A warm welcome, everyone. If you've ever been on vacation in Turkey, you might have noticed how mountainous the country is. Please feel free to write to me in the comments if you have ever been to Turkey and if so, where exactly. I look forward to your travel tips. From the Pontic Mountains in the north to the Taurus Mountains in the south and the mighty Mount Ararat in the east, Turkey is a country of mountains. Have you ever wondered where these mountains actually come from? Sure, tectonic forces have folded them, but what exactly drives these forces? Imagine we could peel the Earth's crust under Turkey like an onion skin. What would we find underneath? Geologists have now discovered that an ancient piece of ocean floor is lying dormant down there, a remnant of the long-gone Neotethys Ocean. This ocean existed between the Arabian and the Eurasian Plate until about 60 million years ago. As Africa, and thus also the Arabian Plate, moved northward, the Neotethys Ocean became smaller and smaller, until it was eventually completely subducted under the Eurasian Plate. But wait a minute. If the ocean has long since disappeared, how can a piece of it still lie beneath Turkey? That's where we get to the exciting part. This piece of oceanic crust has indeed been subducted under Eurasia with the Arabian Plate, but it still hangs like a gigantic anchor on the Arabian Plate. And this anchor pulls and pulls until it eventually breaks off, and that will have drastic consequences. Renas Koshnaf from the University of Göttingen, the lead author of the new study on the phenomenon, explains. This rift has already occurred under Turkey, but not under the Zagros Mountains in Iraq. There, the enormous weight of the oceanic plate piece is pulling down the foreland and has created a particularly deep, sediment-filled basin. Exciting, isn't it? True tectonic dramas are unfolding beneath our feet. But what does that mean specifically for the surface? Imagine you have a tablecloth lying on a smooth table. If you pull on one corner of the cloth, the whole cloth moves with it. It's the same with the Earth's crust. The tearing piece of the plate pulls from below on the crust and deforms it. Where the piece is still stuck, it pulls the crust downwards, creating deep basins that fill with sediments. Where it has already broken away, the crust can rise again. And this rising and sinking of the Earth's crust has a massive impact on the landscape. It forms mountain ranges, creates valleys, and influences the course of rivers. It can even change the climate, because mountains act as natural barriers to air masses and precipitation. But that's not all. The researchers have also discovered that this underground tugging affects the movement of tectonic plates. It's as if someone is pulling on one side of your carpet while the rest is glued down. This creates tensions that can be released in the form of earthquakes. So, not on your carpet, where earthquakes would be a bit strange, but on the Earth's surface, this can certainly happen. Now you might be wondering, wait a minute, does this mean Turkey will break apart? Theoretically, yes, but when exactly this will happen, we'll clarify shortly. In any case, it doesn't only affect Turkey. Researchers suspect that a similar process is taking place under the entire Zagros mountain range, which extends from eastern Turkey through northern Iraq and into Iran. Imagine what that would be like, a gigantic underground cloth that is slowly but surely tearing, forming one of the most impressive mountain landscapes in the world. This is an example of how the hidden forces in the Earth's interior shape our world on the surface. But how did the researchers find this out in the first place? They couldn't exactly drill a hole and take a look. They used various geophysical methods. For one, they analyzed seismic waves. These are vibrations that propagate through the Earth. Depending on the material through which these waves travel, their speed changes. And so researchers can then create an image of the structure of the Earth's interior, a bit like an ultrasound at the doctor's. In addition, they measured the gravity in the region. This is because different types of rock have different densities and therefore affect gravity differently. And from these measurements, the researchers can then draw conclusions about the composition of the subsurface. And as if that weren't enough, you also examined the distribution of sediments on the surface because the way they deposit sediments is heavily influenced by the tectonic movements underground. When all these pieces of the puzzle are put together, a fascinating picture of what is happening deep below our feet emerges. Jonas Clay, one of the co-authors of the study, emphasizes the importance of this research. This research helps us understand how the Earth's rigid outer shell works. Such fundamental research paves the way for practical applications, for example, in the search for ore deposits and geothermal energy or to assess earthquake risks. Okay, but what does this mean for the future of the region? On one hand, it helps us to better understand the geological history. 
We can reconstruct how the landscape has developed over millions of years. On the other hand, it gives us clues as to how the region will change in the future. Will new mountains or valleys be created? How will this affect the distribution of? All these are questions that could be of enormous importance for long-term planning in the region. It will be particularly exciting when we combine this knowledge with other geological processes. For example, we know that the Arabian Plate continues to push north. This leads to constant deformation of the Earth's crust in the region. If we add the influence of the breaking off piece of plate, we get a much more accurate picture of the force forces at work here and how the landscape is forming. Imagine it as a gigantic underground tug of war. On one side, the Arabian plate is pushing north, while on the other side, the breaking off piece of plate is pulling down. And in between, there is the Earth's crust deforming and folding under these tremendous forces. It's really quite amazing when you think about it. We humans live on a wafer-thin crust floating on a seething ocean of molten rock that is constantly in motion. It is being pulled, compressed, and folded. And on this constantly changing giant rock, we race around a gigantic hydrogen ball in a cosmos that we don't even know why it came into existence. You can really get a bit of an identity crisis from that. But don't worry, this doesn't all happen overnight. Such tectonic processes occur over millions of years. At a pace that is barely noticeable to us humans, so Turkey will not suddenly break apart, but will continue to change slowly over geological time periods. So, next time you're on vacation in Turkey and admiring the impressive mountain landscapes, remember, deep down, beneath your feet, a massive tectonic drama is unfolding. An ancient piece of ocean floor is tugging, tearing, and shaping the landscape you see. And now we stay on the topic, but look at more global developments, because something very strange is happening with the Earth right now, and scientists have discovered that this is due to a 200 million year cycle. Every 200 million years, things on our planet change. Massively, you can find out all about it and what we have to expect now in the video shown at the top right. Be sure to click on it, it's very exciting. And if you click on the bottom right, the algorithm has selected another interesting video for you. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, guys.